Well, welcome to another edition of Malibu and Dad. Who's this holding Malibu? Is that Elvis Presley? It sure is. And what are we doing today? We're doing a special little get together with Malibu and Elvis. It's an exclusive here in Yankee Town, Florida, where we're going to talk about where Elvis filmed his movie, Follow That Dream. Released and filmed back in 1962, Elvis was a ripe old age of only 26 when he shot this movie. And we're going to show you the location and come with us on this next adventure. And there you go, guys. There's the instructions to the filming locations. And we're going to drive down to the end to see that beach scene in that location. It's really beautiful there at the end of the road. And there's Elvis here at the Chamber of Commerce. Let me show you. They got a piece of history here. And follow that dream. It's the actual guardrail from the movie that Elvis sat on. And here you go, it says it right there. Sit where Elvis sat on this original guardrail from Follow That Dream, the movie set. There it is. How cool is that? Elvis Presley shot a movie here back in the early 60s. Like I said, he was only 26 years old. The film did very well. And they got a tribute to him in that movie, back in 1961. You can read that. Spent July and August of 61 in this area, filming his ninth major motion picture. So guys, we're going to take you down there. We're going to take a look out here. Here we are. Welcome to Yankee Town. Old Florida on the nature coast, established in 1923. And we're here. Follow that Dream Parkway sign is right ahead. That's a quiet little town. I can imagine what, what it must have been like back in 61 while they were shooting this and Elvis Presley was here. Had to be quite the stir for this little town. This town is still little. Yeah, I'll take you to the sign. You guys can check it out. Follow that dream parkway in July and August of 61. Elvis Presley filmed his ninth major motion picture, Follow That Dream. Several locations there were utilized. The majority of the scenes being shot just a few miles ahead at Bird Creek Bridge. Just ahead, here we go. And this is it, follow that Dream Parkway. Here's the beach. Melody's checking it out. Uh, maybe she smells off is still here. Look at this scenery. And Florida is beautiful.
And this is one of the filming locations. But man, what a filming location. I'm showing you guys some of the beach area, how pretty it is out here. Even to this day, it's just gorgeous. Now you know why you use it as a filming location. I mean, who wouldn't want to film a movie out here on this beautiful beach? It is beautiful and serene. Here's a shot at the end of the road from Elvis's movie. And man, it is beautiful. Storm coming in. And here it is. Here's a bridge. Exact area. Well, it was filmed. His scene here while he's catching the tarpon in the movie. Depicts right off the side. Of course, things have changed a little bit. It's still beautiful out here. You can imagine why now this was used as a shooting location for a beautiful movie like that. So this is the original hotel that Elvis stayed at. It's a port hotel and marina. And you can just see by the architecture of this building. This is definitely during Elvis's days. I mean, look at that. That thing just screams 1950s and 60s. And it's a really neat old place. Doesn't look like it's changed a whole lot. And here's the marina. Just beautiful location. Now it's a waterfront social. That shot there, man, that's beautiful. Look at the clearer this water is, how clear it is.
And here's where Elvis' balcony was, the hotel. It's going through a little renovation. Sure, a few things have changed, but man, is this still beautiful out here. Back in 61, Elvis must have had a heck of a time here. It's just beautiful. And the manatees come in here, here in Crystal River. But to see the old hotel still in existence, it's not in such great uh, repair right now, but it's not bad. But you can definitely see the uh, 1950s and 60s look of that hotel. We got people looking at the manatees. Even Malibu's come out to explore a little bit. What do you think, Malibu? Did you see Elvis anywhere? She's looking around for him. And there it is. Inverness Courthouse from the movie Follow That Dream with Elvis Presley. Filmed in 1961, they did a scene, courthouse scene in there. This is where it was shot. If you look real close, real close, there's Elvis in the window. How crazy is that? So currently nowadays it's a uh, museum. It's no longer an active courthouse. But this is a uh, the courthouse it was filmed so we wanted to incorporate this you guys can see it's a beautiful courthouse here in Inverness downtown Inverness at the war memorials and you got a really nice little nightlife look at that tree incredible Adventures of Malibu and Dad. And it brings us right here to Coney Island Drive In. This is an eatery here in Brooksville, Florida, where back in 1961, Elvis Presley came and enjoyed a Coney Island hot dog right in that restaurant at 1112 Cortez Boulevard. I just wanted to show it to you. Part of the journey from when he shot his movie in Yankee Town. And this is the final place where he ate here in Brooksville during that filming of that awesome movie. So I want to bring that to you and uh, just thank you for watching the video. Thanks again, guys, for uh, watching the video coming out. And enjoying this adventure with me, uh, Elvis Presley is a really, really cool entertainer who uh, died too soon, unfortunately. But uh, he left a great legacy. Uh, on a special side note on Elvis Presley, I actually did meet him uh, back when I was about 11 years old in Tampa, Florida. Uh, my uncle, Louis Napoli, used to bodyguard him when he came to Tampa, Florida for concerts at Curtis Hickson Hall. And that used to be the old uh, center where all the concerts and everything was 
done. I've even met Bob Hope backstage there when I was a kid. Uh, and uh, this was in his later years, of course, uh, just before Elvis died, I met him uh, backstage, thanks to my uncle who was doing his security. Elvis Bob doesn't even remember seeing me, but I saw him and it was a memory I'll never forget. So uh, it's kind of a side note. So it was kind of neat to do this story about him because uh, he's a big influencer for a lot of people. And he did a lot of great things. Uh, just he was he was the big star of the day, you know, back in the 60s, 70s. Uh, he had an incredible story. So I had a lot of fun putting this together, guys. I really thank you for uh, coming along with me on this journey and, and enjoying doing this. Uh, send me some comments. I love hearing from you guys. I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and, and being a part of helping me along the way. And I just enjoy doing what I do. This is just a great hobby for me. So hopefully you guys are having a God-blessed day and doing great. I'll catch you on the next adventure of Adventures of Malibu and Dad. Bye-bye, guys, and have a safe and wonderful day.